We have made it to 2014. Hello, everybody out there. Oh, I've been soaking up a lot of information for the last few weeks on a lot of different subjects, keeping abreast of everything that's been going on, and it's not very good out there at all. <clears throat> Particularly right now, we're going to concentrate at the beginning of this video on what we have coming up in 2014 and 2015. And I'm honing in on uh, tetrads and blood moons. Um, I believe I put a video out soon, probably a year ago or something like that. And uh, Gary Stearman had a guest on Prophecy in the News. And he was discussing the upcoming blood moons. Um, and I believe the video of, of that was actually their talk about it was actually more than a year ago but uh, they, that's what really hooked me up with it was was a thought train of that and then after I checked into it uh, I, I was fascinated by it so what I'd like to say is I think this is very 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 important for all people in the world of what is coming up. Now, these are rare in the sense that you don't get one every year. But what, what was even more rare was these upcoming t uh, events these eclipses are going to fall on Jewish holidays. <clears throat> and not only in 2014 are you going to see it, but the same thing is going to happen on the same festival one year later in 2015. Now, if you play the horses, if you play the football games and gamble, whatever, if you're if you if you're a mathematician and you figure odds, um, you can kind of see that. Hey, something's going on with that. So, what is going on with that? Well, I've had long enough time to think about it all. And I believe that they're significant because when you look and it may take you some time to do that when you go back and look at, at the different years that tetrads have occurred and you look at the days that they fell on and on those days you look at what events transpired in history on those days it's always something historic it's not no small thing that happens on, on, on that time now I believe with all my heart that the Lord is trying to get the people's attention. That is my take upon it. Whatever happens on these dates, I don't know what it'll be. I'm just saying, whatever happens, I believe is going to be historic. I believe it's going to have meaning. I believe we should all pay attention. And I, I, to me, it's like a a blinking light, trying to get trying to get your attention. He doesn't. God doesn't pick up a megaphone and say, "Attention, people, wake up, looky here, I'm trying to tell you something." You don't. That's not the way it goes. He gives you signs. <clears throat> Some people he speaks directly to. But majority 
not not in the sense of uh, prophetic things so something is going on in 2014 and 2015 and he wants us to take notice of it he wants us to be conscious of what is going on and realize the significance of it and the importance of it so you can see I am on never a straight answer NASA Eclipse website now I have to uh, you know NASA is hard to trust NASA leaves out some of the truth sometimes NASA distorts things sometimes but what I can say is they do get some things right I give credit where credit is due and uh, they don't seem to do the negative things all the time and mislead they have been right on quite a few things so we're on their Eclipse website and what we're looking at right now they are stating and they have the capability um, somehow to look way back in time as far as eclipses go and they have the ability to pre pre predict quite a bit ahead in the future as to when these things will occur so they are saying this year you're going to see a an eclipse on the 15 total lunar an annular solar total lunar and a partial solar so they're saying two total lunar eclipses now we'll scroll down total lunar eclipse of April 15th you got the date right there that's what they're saying April 15th and they go through it they are describing things there is a total lunar of October the 8th and I will include these links in the description box and they're telling you here is your little information about your tet tetrads <clears throat> four consecutive 5,000 year period from 90, 1999 to 3,000 which would be minus 1999 there's been 4378 prenumbral, 4207 partial, 3479 total lunar, now if I remember right, <coughs> pardon me, we had some when Israel declared a nation once again and I believe in the Six Day War so that tells you they have some some type of meaning and there's way other things throughout history that they've fallen on so you can come down here and in 2015 there are two solar eclipses two total lunar eclipses March 20th total solar April 4th, total lunar. September 13th, partial solar. September 28th, total lunar. So let's go back up here to the first part. We're going to come over here now. And this is a Jewish holiday and festival site in 2014, and we're going to scroll down and look at these days. Well, you can see Passover, Monday, April 14th. You're going to have one on April 15th, total lunar. 
and I'm just going to show you some of the some of the big ones. You're going to go down into October the eighth. Sukkot, October the eighth. And go to the 23rd of October. And there isn't one that really falls on that one, from what this chart here says. And I believe the other date was April 29th. And you can see. This is in between. We're going to come over here. And we'll go to the listing for the Jewish holidays of 2015 and we'll cross reference that. And you'll be amazed to see what that shows. And on NASA says March twentieth. Whoop. We have there we go. And here you go. You have Passover and a second Passover. April 4. Oops, excuse me. There's April 4 right there. And I meant to say April 4, not March 20th. He got it on Passover again, see? September the 13th. Rosh Hashanah. September 28th. Sukkot. Do you see what I'm saying? You can come over here and look at all this stuff yourself. And you can believe whatever you want. But I urge you to put a lot of thought into this. Because I believe if you do you'll gain understanding. I'm running out of time but I wanted to put this up here in the links so that you can do some thinking on your own because it's very important to me and I believe it's very important to you to look into this study it. Go through and find certain dates that these tetrads have occurred on throughout history and see for yourself. And then there's another little thing I'd like to say about the iPhone. I've been hearing that uh, you could punch in July 27, 2014. You know, what is that on your iPhone? And I think it was Siri that you, you know, had to have in it. And it'll give you a response opening the gates of Hades. Uh, they gave several explanations. It could be a glitch, <clears throat> or it could be uh, something to do with Ramadan, or. Uh, I believe it's called a Chinese ghost year. So that also is a very strange ordeal there. If you got an iPhone like that, punch it in there, you'll see it for yourself. God bless everyone.